Well, time flies. It's been three years since I bought my Tronxy X1. It cost me £150 and about £20 for import duty. And at the time I bought it, I had no real idea what I was going to do with it. Just thought it would be some fun. Now, out of the box, the Tronxy has got some problems. Or at least it did have when I bought mine. They may have fixed some of these issues in the three years since then. So for example, the bed wobbles and you need to print a bracket to sort that out. The hot end top temperature is lower than it should be because the cowling is badly designed. Um, I made a video about fixing that. Since then I've replaced the stock metal cowling with a plastic one um, and that allows me also to fit a hefty part cooling fan when the need arises. I've added an extension to the SD card reader so I can more easily access it. The stock power brick or fire brick as I called it overheats terrifyingly um, I made a video about how to tame that and without a heated bed you're going to struggle to print some parts even in PLA without them warping. The solution for me which works perfectly though isn't pretty is a cardboard box which is heated by the printer itself after a while but before that is warmed with a hairdryer. That allows me to print parts of any shape and size limited by the, the bed um, including on glass for a super shiny finish which I really like. And I've fitted a 0.8mm nozzle so I can print very quickly without much loss of quality. And that's the workhorse really which has churned out um, many hundreds of spectrometers sold all over the world and that business has um, significantly improved my income so it's it's been a life changer really. If you're interested in hearing more about the business side of what I've been talking about then drop a comment um, and I'll consider making a video for you. Anyway, I've since then also acquired um, a Creality Ender 3 which I've modified extensively and I'll come up with some more videos uh, in the future about how I did that and why and, and how it works. These days you can buy an X1 for as little as £87 which is crazy um, and you'll get years of high quality printing out of it and fun um, so I recommend that to anyone really um, if you want to get into 3D printing and you don't have a lot of money have a look at the build video have a look at the mods videos um, and you'll see um, what living with one of these things is like and then snap one up and you're off and running anyway I just wanted to document the third anniversary of my entry into 3D printing I hope you found something of interest there um, thanks for watching